you've been following along, we purchased a four-door Ford Bronco Sasquatch in early August of 2021. If you'd like to follow along with our ownership journey, click here. Now that we're well acquainted with our Bronco, like many Bronco owners, we decided we'd like to personalize and customize our vehicle just a little bit. But unlike a lot of those owners, we're colossal cheap let me give you a quick explanation of our use case. We're not hardcore off-roaders. We just want to confidently access nature. Another priority for us is on-road capability. We don't want to compromise that at all because that's where we spend most of our time. And we also don't want to spend a lot of money. Remember, we're cheap. <laughs> and despite appearances, we're both frugal and simple-minded. Well, that's not exactly how I meant that. <laughs> but uh, to clarify, we want low-key modifications that either improve the vehicle's function or at the very least, do not make it worse. <laughs> With all that on the table, here are six cheap but awesome modifications we've made to our Bronco. Modification number one, powder-coated wheel rings. So we got the Sasquatch package and it has these beadlock-capable wheels with these rings on it. The standard rings are not to be used to actually lock the bead. They're more just like decorative. And if you want to use the actual beadlock function, you have to get different rings. But what I thought is, you know, those might look good in white. And the reason I thought that is because even before the Bronco went on sale, there was uh, one from the media library. And I thought that, that kind combination looks really good. Perhaps we can do that here. So what I thought in a uh, explosion of brilliance, wait a second, let's powder coat those rings. So I found a powder coater and uh, they powder coated all of them for 125 bucks. I also removed the grill from the Bronco so they could use the Oxford white lettering as a basis for the white on the rings, which meant you had to drive uh, one day without a grill. People probably thought you were more hardcore than you are. <laughs> I really liked the idea because when we saw the original press materials, that's what made me fall in love with the Broncos. I do think they turned out a little too bright white. Mm -hmm. I, I wonder if a slightly more cream color would have looked better, but it was a great idea, a great cheap mod. And I also think too that um, as the car gets dirty, <laughs> And it will. <laughs> uh, that perhaps that'll dull some of that brilliance of the white. And also there will be a UV dulling effect. So oh, yeah. I think over time, maybe the white will kind of like uh, wear into itself. They did the best they could trying to match the Oxford white from the Bronco lettering. And I think they did a pretty good job, but um, you know, it's, it's just hard to get that perfect. Totally. But I really think it does make the wheels stand out, especially on the back. Oh yeah, the back wheel, it looks fantastic. Of course, we do have a question. Should we also make the little Bronco emblem white mm -hmm. or is that too much? Tell us in the comments. I didn't mention that uh, removing the uh, beadlock rings, I was just using a ratchet and that is the stupid way to do it. So uh, get yourself um, uh, speedier tools because uh, if you're doing it manually, it will take a long time. Modification number two, Rough Country tow hook brackets and D-rings. So for the stock bumper, we've got the basic bumper. Um, there's nowhere to really attach the D-rings um, that uh, would really set off that whole white and uh, cactus gray motif. If you look at that original press material, they've got white D-rings and they just look super cool. And it doesn't hurt to have them up there readily available in case we need to um, you know, get ourselves towed out of a situation or help pull someone out. So they add some function and they add just a little bit more white up front to kind of help round out the motif. Thoughts? I think that those look a lot better than the wheels. And I think it is because there is that white badge that it matches. So perhaps introducing some white along the side somehow, like with pinstriping, maybe that would help. Yeah, or maybe a uh, Bronco badge that is uh, white yeah. or something like that. One question we have, should we leave the plastic little insulator thingies on the D-rings or do the D-rings look better without them, just in pure plain white? Tell us in the comments. Those tow hook brackets um, were only 150 bucks and pretty easy install. We have entered the fog. 
Modification number three, the IAG Easy Lift Soft Top Assist Kit. It's $99.99 and man, that is a hundred bucks really well spent. The way it works in standard is that you've got like a little, uh, you have to lift it up manually. You've got two releases, lift it up manually and a little prop comes out to hold it in place. And it's really awkward to do that. This. It just, you release it and it just automatically lifts up. And then as a bonus, when you're putting the soft top all the way back, that same kit helps lift it back up. And that has some huge benefits because in a previous video you may have seen, the Bronco has a tendency to scrape the soft top mechanism on the roll bar in the back there. And because of the pneumatic lifts of that IAG kit, if you just get it going up slightly, it goes up automatically without any lateral pressure. This is a very long way of saying it solves the scrape and it makes it the soft top much easier to lift. I always had so much trouble using that lift that I never used it, mm -hmm. that functionality of the Bronco. But with this new kit, I can see myself actually using it. Is it too hard to pull back down in the latch position or you just no. let gravity do the job? I do have to pull it down, but it's not that hard. No, not the with those other... guns. Come on. <laughs> That's right. And I'm going to give them bonus points for having a very easy instruction video. Um, all the hardware that you needed was very obvious. It was just a really easy install and it's made the functionality of that soft top much, much greater. And as a side bonus, I think it might have somewhat reduced the rippling effect on the rear windows. Not completely, but slightly reduced. Now here's a fun one. I've got a modification you can make to your Bronco that's absolutely free. What could it possibly be? Slow dramatic zoom in, remove the side badges. I really like going back to our North Star Inspiration vehicle, that um, Bronco uh, from the Media Gallery that has no badges on the side. And I thought, hmm, maybe I'll just uh, take off the um, Big Bend Sasquatch badges and see if that sort of simplifies the uh, side a little bit. Kind of, uh, you know, no more breaking it up. We just sort of see the uh, architecture of the vehicle. I don't know, I think it could go either way. What do you guys think? Do you like the uh, Bronco better with the badge or with the clean side? It might make our Bronco look more expensive because we did get one of the lower trips. That's true. People might think we debadged a, um, you know, like a wild track <laughs> or something like that. If they don't know the rest of the parts that are not wild track. <laughs> but whether it looks better or worse, we didn't spend any money on it. Woohoo! Now this item is um, kind of on the edge of being cheap. It's $420 for the Rock Blocks front and rear mud flaps. And that sounds like a lot of money because it is kind of a lot of money for mud flaps. I'm sure you can find cheaper mud flaps elsewhere. But what the Rock Blocks do um, that I really like, one, I think they look cool, but two, they are um, very durable and they're removable. So there are two little uh, nuts you just twist and they pop right off and it's super, super easy to remove them if you're doing, um, you know, somewhat more hardcore uh, rock crawling, that kind of thing. The other reason why I thought the removability might be cool is because sometimes, you know, they, these things can make noise. I, th I was worried they might be flapping. They are completely silent. I haven't heard anything from the mud flaps. But one of the problems with the Bronco is that the front tires spray all of this debris along the door sides. And so I think those front mud flaps are really going to help you know, uh, take that down a notch. More than just the aesthetic problem with having mud splatted all over the side, in winter, when we go off-roading, it freezes to the side and makes it difficult to open and close the door. Yes, and then in the rear, um, you know, they have a kit where you can just do the front mud flaps, but we went with the uh, four tire solution because when you do off-roading, you can hear when we're driving like back on pavement, you hear bing, and you can hear like the rocks shooting out. And the last thing I want is a rock shooting out the back and hitting another person's car. So uh, putting the rear flaps on seemed like a wise move. Again, pricey, but in terms of function and design, I think they're really good and that was an okay place for us to splurge. And then also I was able to select a nice little orange uh, contrasting color that I think quite, looks quite nice. Maybe we'll have to find somewhere else in the vehicle to incorporate that. Moving on to our last item, JCR pinch weld covers. 
Okay, so when you look at the Bronco from the side, if you look right above the Sweetie step, there's this area where it's just kind of like a return which these, with these welds, and it always looked really unfinished. It, absolutely, it looks like a mistake. It does look like a mistake. So uh, this company has these covers that just bolt on and cover it over. It's powder coated black, and it covers over that whole unsightly area. They didn't arrive in time for me to install it for this video. So uh, here's what it looks like. And in future videos, you'll see it on the Bronco. It's one of those, like, I just came across it, you know, looking around for Bronco stuff one night. I'm like, yeah, that seems like a good idea. But again, cheap, improves the aesthetic, doesn't harm function. I think it's a good move. All right, well, those are the modifications that we've made to our Bronco. What do you guys think? Are there any other modifications we should make? If you had a Bronco, or if you do have a Bronco, what modifications would you make? Tell us in the comments. And if you'd like to follow along with our Bronco journeys or watch our new car reviews, consider subscribing. Or don't, we don't need it, but we would love to have you along. <laughs> Family, I think we've done a pretty good job explaining the modifications we've made to our Bronco. May I have a five? and a five, and you, you made your high five. Ah! Oh wait, I need it. Boom! <laughs> That's a, that was a much better five.